What's up guys, my name is Potato and welcome back to my hardcore. Uh, so, we left off with the uh, the failed chicken farm. Um, which, I've sort of decided, you know what, it's just, it's not worth it to try to uh, make some sort of automated chicken farm. Got my cows and pigs just slightly automated and having this guy, which I still didn't bring gravel out here to do. I literally left it at this. Um... Because I don't have any chickens in there. I gotta get new chickens in. There's no point. Because the only thing that chickens provide that, you know, I can't get anywhere else is chicken meat. And I don't even eat meat. I eat potatoes. So, uh, I don't really care about that. I only have a cow farm because I wanted leather. And, um, it's not a whole lot in here. And, uh, the only reason I have a pig farm is just for symmetry reasons. And same thing with sheep. Um, I will eventually make some sort of, um, I don't know, color farm, if, if you want to call it that way, or that, or whatever it is, you know, where I have a, a bunch of different sheep, and they're all different colors, I don't have any, I should have kept the wheat and bred these guys, um, but until then, it's not really a necessity, uh, so I figured I'll just, um, I came across a, a skeleton spawner, uh, a while back when I was looking for... Uh, melon seeds and in fact I came across a couple of uh, spawners um, and I took uh, screenshots of all of them so I know exactly where to go um, I know one of them the skeleton one I believe is out in the desert um, not too far away I think it's just like right over there right over the hill so I'll eventually drag these little guys out and get rid of this uh, this pin of mine the first pin my first animal pin and move on but until then I figured you know what you know what? I'm, t I'm tired of fighting stuff. I, I want something uh, a little bit easier to get mob items. Not necessarily mob experience right now, just mob items. So I'm going to build a mob farm. Um, which is just, it's going to be a drop farm. Maybe customizable to where I'll have them fall or I can raise to like the bottom block so they don't die. But um, for the moment, I'm just looking to uh, to kill them and get their items and all that delicious goodness. The only problem is mob farms tend to be very tall. Very tall, very ugly. Um, and I don't want a very tall building because I already have this building right here. And a mob farm is probably going to be about twice, if not three times the size of that. And um, if I could negate some of the height but still retain its um, efficiency, uh, I'll be in good graces. So, what I'm gonna do is probably build it in the ground. Um, probably not fully. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing, I'm gonna turn, you know, I'll just turn my headset down a bit. That way you guys have the fancy music. I was gonna say, it's awfully loud for me, but I guess my headset volume didn't match. It doesn't matter, whatever. A couple of villages there. I had a baby to um, escape somehow. I don't know, he was just running around here. Um, I ended up killing him because, well, you know. He shouldn't have been out there. So, um, the problem with mob farms is that, uh, well, the second, third, fourth problem with mob farms is, this is weird, is, um, not only are they ugly, and they take up a lot of space, um, I have to light up all the caves and stuff around here, which is just, it's not going to be fun. It's just going to be the worst to do. Um... Not really looking forward to that, but it, it will be something I will do. I think I only... Oh, that's not what I wanted to put in there. I wanted to put in that. Um, thankfully, most of my caves are already lit up, but um, even still, uh, I know there's going to be... Huh, I don't have any coal in here. It's fine. Whatever, you guys can have both those. I'll just pick them up whenever. Um, most of my caves around here are lit up. Uh, I will have to light up a lot more of this ground, probably all of this around there and coming way out into here and everything, but uh, that's fine. But what I think I'm probably going to do is use this second track here, um, this one right here, and take it out that way. Uh, my first sort of idea was, well, I'll just build it inside of a mountain. Like if, I, if the tower was built in this mountain right here, I would just go to the bottom of that mountain and the pillar would be inside of that. And that's still something I'm sort of debating on. And in fact, the more I talk about it, the more I'm liking that idea. 
so how about we just go over to this mountain and see um, just just how big it is. I don't have any ender pearls on me, so we're doing this old school uh, climbing. I mean, There's zombies under the ground over here. Um, the uh, the the reason, by the way, the about chickens, um, they give feathers, which is nice. But the only thing I'm going to use the feathers for is to make arrows, which is why um, I'm probably going to use the skeleton spawner. If that wasn't already obvious, I was just thinking. It's like, well, I didn't explain my whole reasoning behind giving up on the skeleton or the, the chicken farm thing. Oh, I love this shuffle. I love a lot of shovels. It doesn't take very much for me to love a shovel. It just has to work good, look good, and and be good. And uh, I love it. Those are the, that's the recipe. So this mountain is pretty tall. Uh, so I figured, uh, well, not I figured, rather I'm, I'm, uh, I'm thinking, just to take over this mountain. Uh, we can have another rail, that second railway system, take us on over here. Um, and we'll be far away from our house, so we won't hear them dying all the time. Although, th there's there's pros and cons to that. If I keep it near my house, I can take it to my storage area quicker. Um, however, out here, um, I'm going to have to transfer the goods myself. I could set up a cart system, you know, a separate subsystem for trains to, to bring items to me. Which, as I'm saying it, it sounds pretty cool. So maybe I'll look into that, um, a way of taking out items that get thrown into a chest and transporting them back over to the house. Um, I think that'd be kind of neat. We're pretty high up. Um, this is probably as far out as we'll go. So that's what, Y110. And, um, well, the, the water would be Y64, yeah? So, um, you know, some math in my head, and that's, uh, that's pretty high up. So, how about we do that? How about we take out this mountain? And, um, because I don't want to build vertical. Because building vertical leads to me falling down, and falling down is just, uh, it's just no bueno. Whoop! There we go. I bet that's going to hit another chicken. In fact, I'd almost bet on it. I don't know. I lost it. It disappeared out of my draw distance. Um, so the design that I've been looking at recently is, uh, Ethos, uh, Ethos Mob Farm from way back when. The, uh, the very simple one with, um, what is that? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve spawning pads, something like that. Um, it's real simple. It's, uh, it's not complicated, which I like. There's no redstone involved, which, uh, I like even more. Um, although I am, you know, like I said, trying to expand my redstone knowledge. I'm not planning on doing that for a mob trap. So after this annoying little mountain gets destroyed, I'm probably going to burn through a lot of shovels during this. So I might have to go make up some backup ones because Pickles is not going to be able to take it um, very much longer. You can see it's already burning through and I'm just done a little bit. And uh, I want to make sure that this side stays the pretty side. This back side is fine. So let's just see how far out it goes from here. So if this is our center point, um, Ethos pads will be like this. Boop, boop. There we go. There's, uh, there's one. I guess I don't have to... Um, really fill them in. There we go. My neighbors are doing something outside. So if you guys are hearing banging, that's that's them being extremely annoying. Alright, so that's good. That's only one out, yeah. So if these are our four center ones. Kind of look like donuts when they don't have a center. I'll just put a center in them. So if these are our four center ones, it's going to come out one more block on each side. Like that. Yeah, it's a good thing I took out all that dirt. 
So that's good. That still reaches on the inside. And then, um, yeah, just by glancing, I can see that they'll be fine over here, too. Uh, over here, though. Not bad. Uh, this side is going to be probably the ugly side. Oops. Doesn't matter. Just doing this for size reference. And um, obviously the other one would be right here. Doot, 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 doot. Put up a couple of torches just so since we're uh, we're losing daylight here. This is uh, relatively a very well. It's it is a very quick um, demo of the spawning pads of Ethos little farm. Um, this will be the center hole where the mobs will get pushed into, so water will be channeled through here and into the center. Um, basically, I'm going to dig an outline of the design just straight through this mountain and um, it's gonna be very it's gonna take a long time and it's, it's already late in the day and I was hoping to get this out today but I had a lot of stuff that I had to do earlier today and it's probably not gonna happen so maybe uh, maybe I'll upload another skyblock warriors so that's what you guys will probably see um, if not you've already seen the entire match on the other guys uh, guys channels and stuff um, so yeah I'm going to dig this out and I'll give you guys a progress report. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Prob uh, I gotta do a little bit of math. I think it's five blocks from the floor. Up. So this would be one, two, three, four, and five. And then the next block would be the floor again. So I want about... I'm, I'm gonna shoot for seven. Seven of those. Um, so it's about 35 blocks down. Um, probably eight. If, if maybe if the it depends on. Um, well, maybe I'll just go down to that level or near that level, the water level, and um, then I'll just bust my way out of the mountain and straight back out. And there's an Enderman over there, and I want to kill him. So. I'm gonna go uh, get started on this, and by that I mean go home and create a bunch more weapons. Not weapons, tools that I'm gonna enchant. I I'm definitely gonna use diamond just because I want it to last a lot longer because I'm gonna enchant them um, with the 37 levels here. So I'm, I'm gonna enchant them probably at like level sevens, maybe. Because uh, as long as I can get some like durability or something on them, then that's fine. I won't dig through it quick, but they'll last a long time. And, um,. I don't think I'll need a bed. There's another Enderman. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna go kill this Enderman and I'll come back and show you guys uh, where we're at once I dig out the hole. All right, guys. So, um, probably about three hours later, uh, we have a hole. It's a, uh, it's a well, it's a start. I went through about three diamond picks, but some of them, or well, a lot of them. You can see I have the durability thing up. So I was uh, checking it out. Let's see, can I take that off now? I don't really need that. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> um, I went through about three of them, um, but they were all kind of broken like this one, and I still even have this one diamond shovel left. I only ended up going through about half of that one because once you get through the topsoil, it's just all stone after that, so I don't know why I made so many uh, shovels. Should have made another pick and probably would have gotten efficiency on one. Um, but here we are at, uh, well, I think it's 64. Yeah. Um, feet position, uh, 65. It doesn't matter for eye, but we're at 64 here, uh, which I was right. It's just above the water, which is good. Now, uh, what I think I might do, what I've been thinking about, is that I either have to split the difference here. I have to either go down another 12, and uh, then go up 12 and have 24 blocks for it to fall on or uh, this is about the center yeah right here um, I go up 
24 blocks to make the bottom of the the um the mob machine i i, I completely forgot about that aspect of this so i'm thinking maybe just maybe uh instead of doing it that way um maybe i'll have a platform for them to land on you know or be stuck in rather like a you know like my mob softener over there and make another version of that a mob softener um i did want to kind of make this uh, uh afk worthy you know to where i could just come over here and and let it grind for a few hours or whatever it you know an hour or something like that just to get some items going um but it would save me space i wouldn't have to dig another 12 levels which i really don't want to do i'm really tired of digging uh, after doing this whole thing and um or you know i go up and then this thing just protrudes out the top which i kind of you know i could probably make it look good i can make it look like a tower or something up top and uh, make it look all fancy and um the only problem is is that i really don't want like 24 of empty blocks here so maybe i'll have this pillar in the center yeah for them to fall down into like that well i guess you know i could keep these here and um make that a hopper right there in the center and uh keep this the way it is because spiders won't be able to go through so i only need uh a one slot here and then i'll make it like a library you know make it real nice in here and homey and i'll use this to um or homely yeah and uh you know make like a spiral staircase around the outside or something like that up uh, to different levels and stuff where there's you know different stuff. I think I'm gonna do that I think I like that idea and I'll just have it stick out the top It'll prevent me from digging and provide me with our more opportunities to build um, So I think the center of this actually I'm going to make logs Which means I got to go get a bunch of spruce logs and I have a couple um, I don't think it's gonna be enough though and um, I'm definitely gonna have to build my railway system as well here uh, I'm not 100% sure where at though. Maybe I'll maybe I'll wait until this is done. That way I can see where I can bring the the train station. Until then, I'll just keep running back and forth. And I got a bunch of stone up there, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm just gonna go home. Maybe chop down a couple of trees, spruce trees, and bring a couple saplings over here. Um, so I have renewable logs. So I'm gonna get that started, and I'll come back when I uh, have some progress. Okay, so I've done the center pillar here, and um, this is uh, basically where I'm at at the moment. I have a bunch of um, spruce trees out there. There's always a zombie that gets stuck right there. And uh, this knockback two thing is pretty sweet. Uh, I keep turning on the uh, the durability thing because I, I, um, I would always forget about it up until I started working on this. And then I was like, okay, well, I don't want to keep breaking this. Or, you know, I want to see how long this one will last or something like that. So, um, but, you know, as I'm looking at the tools, it's just, oh, uh, I guess there's no dura durability on something that's not uh, not broken yet. It's kind of interesting. Uh, anyway, so that's F3H, and that gets rid of that, right? No, that's right. Do I have to be out on this? Yeah, there we go. So this is uh, my new axe. My old one finally broke uh, because I've chop down a bunch of trees over there so basically the plan is that I'm going to turn this into somewhat of a library type of facility type of deal uh, I'll probably have chests and stuff in here as well um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about doing it yet because I, I do want to do the um, the sorting thing oh well, there you go drop the carrot uh, I'll show you I've done one level so far and uh, I'm going to keep the ladder here as I work on it just because I want a, a way up and down um, more reliably than climbing up this thing and jumping off or whatever. But here is the, um, let's see if I can't get up there. Whoop, there we go. Okay, so this is uh, what each level is going to look like uh, without the water because um, I only have one bucket right now and I'm going to need probably, well no, I got ice, so I'll use ice instead. Um, Water will go there, here, and there. Well, it will not go there. That'll be uh, covered up like that, these corners here. There are some people that um, 
have said to just take it off right there and then you have another spawning pad. Um, which actually I may do for a couple of these because the only reason I don't want to do it is because I don't want light leaking through the corner. But since I'm in a mountain, uh, that's not going to be a problem. So we can do that. So we'll just take that off and then we'll have an extra spawning pad here. And put that there. And it's weird that it lined up perfectly with the way those torches and stuff were. And then um, there's also another spawning pad on these corners too. But obviously I can't put one there. That's fine. Try not to fall off. Okay. And then one more over there. All right. And then water will go down there and uh, in that corner and then those corners all the way around. And it will push them down into here. Now, uh, <laughs> I was smart enough to put water here <laughs> while working on it because I, I did like going down it. It's, uh, it's very nice. It is 24 blocks up from this block to there. So 64 plus 24 is 88. So that's the 88th block up there that they fall off of. So they should die. If not, I'll just take it down one more block. And it's, it's not going to be that big of a deal because this will be glass or something here to where, um, you know, I won't see what's going on. Anyways, uh, just wanted to give you guys a little heads up. I'm going to work on this a little bit more, but uh, that's going to do it for this episode. So make sure to hit that like button if you like it. Uh, if you like skeletons creepily watching you build something that's going to kill hundreds, if not thousands or millions of these guys. Um, Give it give it two thumbs up. Just figure out a way. I know you guys are smart enough to do it. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go. And I'll see you hopefully next week with more hardcore episodes. I want to get out two a week uh, at least. And um, that should be Monday and Wednesdays. Tuesdays, Thursdays, S&P, and Friday. I've gone over the schedule. So I'll see you guys later. Uh, again, for the fourth time. And, well, bye. <laughs>